Ignatius487 here. Welcome back to Skyrim. Here we go. Hello, Jarl. Gods watch over your battles, friend. I... I need your help. I need to have a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. That's what this place was originally built for. I know I w You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. Thank you. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when the threat we've is worse than you know? So Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Yeah, uh, it's I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop. I don't me. know about such things. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. Okay. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to... Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my... No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Hmm. I'm sorry. You don't have to worry about an enemy attack. Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. What are the great. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council. I then don't know. Maybe I don't know. Would have to Leave that to me. I, Dragonborn. Leave that to me. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Thank you. Hmm. It's tricky here, because I don't know... Of course the peace is temporary, and you can do the Civil War after you've caught the dragon. You know. I don't know that I've ever actually done this, like, peace... the... the... peaceful meeting thing. I've done a couple of side quests, by the way. Like off screen, as part of the working toward being higher level and stuff. Um, one of them was the, the Grey Main family in, in Whiterun. They believe that their one of their members has been taken by the Imperials because he's a Stormcloak, which is true. So I tracked him down and I killed him. I failed the quest, but that's what my character would have done. She does not suffer Stormcloaks to live. I came back to Whiterun here looking for the other brother and he's gone. I, I didn't find him in their house. I looked all over town. He's just not here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <coughs> hmm. I work with my mother. We pick fruits and sell vegetables and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's do it. We'll do the Concord. <laughs> there must be peace in our times. Temporary, yes, but peace nonetheless. White Run's problem is that White Run is like in the middle of it's like there's there's kind of an in, an invisible line that marks the separation of uh stormcloak and imperial territories and white run is like right in that that middle zone like right between the two things so it's probably a fairly critical holding place that being said, uh, this is why we're here, because he, he's he's having issues from both sides, and he hasn't picked a side yet. I'm going to pick a side for him when I actually start the Civil War stuff, which would be lovely. And quite a bit of fun for my character, who hates Alvin, the Stormcloaks. We heard the dragon ring sound from here. You defeated him? Yeah, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. 
thought it was him we saw flying east after your yeah, battle. Yeah, I need your help. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers. The way of voice. Um, I'll worry about... Yeah, I'll worry about catching the dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The oh, okay. I know... Uh, I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin. Both sides it's respect the Greybeards. The they will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This, even the Greybeards must bend to the wind. Yes. So be it. Tell Ulfric and we will see if they still remember us. Okay. Are you ready to host the Peace Deliver Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I, I will, will do, do what, what I can, I can to, to bring them to terms. Okay, cool. I will definitely... Yeah. Grazie. General Tullius is in uh, solitude, and Stormcloak is in Windhelm, I believe. If that's... Uh, that's the general consensus at any rate, yes. What? Oh. Practicing their shouts and stuff. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Windhelm. Windhelm. Yeah, I'll go talk to stupid Ulfric first. Douche nozzle Ulfric. All pompous and thinks he's better than everybody else. I'm gonna take him out later. That'll be fun. Mucho fun. 7.30. Hour and a half until The Walking Dead. The new episode, which I probably won't be going to see. Why? Well, I don't have cable here. I'm good. I got I got other things to do anyway, like record for you guys because it's awesome and fun and good times. This is a. Hang on. Iron. Longsword? My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. <laughs> Sorry. You have the Stormcloak helmet thing, man. By the way, um, I have taken up the habit for Lara to collect Stormcloak helmets as she kills Stormcloaks. I have nine so far. Nine. Nine stormcloaks. No, oh, chill out. Where's this dude at? <sighs> I don't like standing in this dude's presence. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without summons. Do I know you? I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us. Destined for the chop. We met before I'm that. But, you know. Um. I did not come here to fight the Empire. No. Go with the gods. As you can see, I have much that requires my attention. If you're inclined to gap, there are some <sighs> nice prison guys you may like to meet. A fair Bollocks. I'm always looking for able fighters. I do not want... Seems Ew, so I'm not joining you. That's gross. And no. Past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Speak with Garmar. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their <coughs> gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon's want? menace. Uh, the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attack. But... The political okay. situation is still. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. Yes. Is that true. Well, it changed. Yes. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the yes. Peace Council. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not talking to them. That's weird. I'm not joining the Stormcloaks. 
I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Not good. No, no, no. And now we go see Mr. Tullius, General Tullius. He's a cool dude. What? Oh, yeah. He's uh, up to the. Yeah, he's in the meeting hall thingy. I think Tullius is the guy I talked to to join up with the the Imperial Legion. They give me Imperial Legion armor, which is sad, really. Yeah, no, don't give me that. I don't want it. It's just taking up space in my my inventory, and it's totally not useful. Especially now that I have all the beastliness that I can possibly want. Yay! Um. No? Yes, here we go. Where's the smithy? Hello? What have we got for sale, sir? No, actually, I actually need to sell to you. That's what I want to do. I need to sell you things that I don't have. Yes, these. Uh, do, do, and do. Wait, was that a frost resistance thing? Hang on. I thought I. Yes, I don't think I have frost resistance. I'll buy that back. Sorry. I'll try and uh, you know. Rid myself of that, yes. <laughs> Dude, and nice. That's very, very cool. Thank you. So many potions to get rid of. It's kind of uncalled for. Solitude guard, solitude guard, solitude guard. Castle Dawa. Go to Castle Dawa. If you have crimes, you need to ad admit to doing and pay the fee. They take your stolen items. Oh no, it's not the stolen items. <laughs> ah, ah, stolen items. I got in trouble once for I'm accidentally stealing a carrot. Planning an on white uh, hey, can I talk to you? No. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Hey, you're the doctor like from you Fallout New Vegas who fixed my face. Someone like you. <laughs> yes, sir. That. Yes, sir. Good. Hey. Speak with Legat Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Okay. Cool. Um, but the grave not right now. What do those old hermits want with me? Convening a peace council. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms again. We need a truce to the dragon menace. Don't they are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell um, this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons, dragons are, no are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Oh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move. By all yes. accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Alfred might see the sense. So you'll come. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this graybeard council. Thank you. Alfred's planning an attack. Rika. You survived Helgen. Yes. I've got a good. Fe I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. Okay. I've got a little test line. Can you handle anything at me? Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence will soon. It's find confidence. You. I'm sending you to clear out for. If you die. But there's only two I'll dudes no there. The ancients built many of. Sadly, yeah. most of okay. fallen. There are two people left there that I left <laughs> left alive because they were helping me train, like they were fighting me and helping me train, and I, I decided to spare them, so I left them alone. I just left where where they were and they didn't follow me. Consider the fort already yours. That's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen. Thanks, thanks. Join the Imperial Legion. Oh yeah. Dawnstar, what? I've talked to you already. You leave the lake. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Oh. 
Okay, I'm confused. Did I just talk to General Tullius? Yeah, I did. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf. I believe the Legate gave you an order. I expect you to follow it. Dismissed. Oh no, it's not gonna count it, is it? Well, if he wants to. Ah, bollocks. Fine. No, uh, apparently I can't join either side during the summit. Fine, 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 fine. That's cool. No worries. Hey, you. I remember you. Yes. No, Speaking let's talk. The Greybeard. Yeah, I know. What yeah. Uh, well, we've already done this. Thanks. To discuss as need a truce. They are getting to be. My job is to quell this rebellion. Uh, you may have a. Uh huh. By all accounts, okay. the storm. Yes. Yes. He'd be insane. To Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk to Lager Ricky yet. We'll do that after we get the dragon. We after we capture the dragon. <coughs> Dragon, I am fire. I am death. Oh, lag. Oh, okay. What is that craziness? Is she all covered by. What is that? It's weird. The I don't I've never seen that anywhere. Yes, they have. And now we go to High Hrothgar again. All craziness aside. Yes. Peace Council! Dragon Priest. They're fun to fight. Kind of beastly, though. Pretty hard to kill. But fun. And magic -y. You know, blast you with lightning or fire or frost. It's pretty much all they all they do is elemental damage. Yeah. Climb the seven thousand steps to High Hrothgar. I could leave some money at High Hrothgar. I mean, I've got just too much to know what to do with it, really. Seriously, I have almost 50,000 gold. I have the most expensive house that you can purchase. I haven't actually purchased any of the upgrades for, like, inside of it, which is it's really cr crazy going inside and seeing, like, cobwebs everywhere. Yay! Peace Council! Yay! Well, you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here, and I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business, have no involving, business involving themselves. Involving themselves. I, don't, I don't think I've ever done this. This is cool. Don't worry. I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment. They are not yet tired yeah. of war. Far from <laughs> Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. Season unending. unending. But regrets are pointless. Take your Here seat at the council table. Okay. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors. <coughs> Where is the council table? Is it this way? Okay. Um, well, kinda. I say it's okay. Oh, sweet. <laughs> nice. General Tullius, Jarl, Ellen Wynn? I remember Ellen Wynn, yeah. Ice lift the fair, like it, Ricca. Gotcha. Come in, have a seat, guys. We gotta talk about this. <coughs> Serious stuff. Alderwin's coming. He's gonna kill some yos. And 
it's all serious and stuff. Who's that? Is that Delphine? Nice. Hello, Delphine. Why delay? Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Yes. Come on, Legger Rigger. Sit next to me. We have all come here no. in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter. Yeah. All right, chill out, guys. I have every right to be at this negotiation. <laughs> I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the uh. Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. True. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms, sit the down, party, guys. Dang. We will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time. To get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down mm. at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. I'm not a big fan of her either, but I don't like you. What's the harm? Besides, Tully doesn't really want her here either. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. Just, bow to the old it's cool. Moments. Chill out. But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Yes. Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the thousand and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Sit down. I have something to say first. Missing a seat. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon <coughs> menace. Okay. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Calm down, Rick. It's cool. Deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Chill out, guys. Damn. Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? <coughs> yes. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullia. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here yeah, at, the at the Dragonborn's, Dragonborn's request. request. Good. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting, lasting peace. peace in Skyrim. It won't last. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes. Let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand <laughs> seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Oh, yeah. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Alfred, I like this. This is nice. You seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. If you hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure uh, There's no way that you can take Markarth in battle if nothing. they have a good hold on it. I mean, yes, that's that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? <laughs> this is how the Empire repays us repays for, us our, for loyalty. our loyalty. Wait, <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're out of time with this video. It's interesting place to end the video, of course. But uh, we'll continue the interesting, the very interesting council in the next video. So keep watching, folks. Ignatius, well, uh, Bone Tuna. We'll see you next video.